Hello again, and welcome back to our series on maps from the Hispanic Society's collection. Today's map of Tecualtiche was created by the indigenous people of Mexico and represents the exchanges that took place between the European explorers and the people of the Americas. Through this map, we will see how artwork played a major role between these two distinct groups. Believe it or not, the manuscript you see here is not merely an intricate watercolor painting. It is a map. It is known as the map of Tecualtiche, named after the indigenous people represented in the image, who were from the village of Teocaltiche, which lies in the present-day state of Jalisco in Mexico. The map of Tecualtiche was created in the year 1584 as a response to a questionnaire made by royal decree from King Philip II of Spain, who had requested information about the territories the Spaniards had conquered in the Americas, which was at that time referred to as New Spain. The responses to the questionnaire were called Relaciones Geográficas because they were specifically intended to answer questions about the geography, resources, vegetation, languages, and people that inhabited the land. Each Relación Geográfica consisted of two documents, one with written responses to a set of 50 questions, and the other was a map. The map of Tecualtiche was acquired by the museum's founder, Archer Milton Huntington, in 1902, when he purchased it along with the entire library belonging to the Marquis of Jerez de los Caballeros, Seville, Manuel Pérez de Guzmán y Bosa. Much of the materials from the library were undocumented, and for much time it was unknown that this map was part of the Relaciones Geográficas. The manuscript with the responses to the questionnaire is held at the University of Texas at Austin in the Nettie Lee Benson Latin American Collection General Libraries. For much time, the map was believed to have been lost, and it was unknown that it was the missing half of this relación until it was confirmed by an inscription on the back of the map, which states, Picture that the Indians of the village of Tecualtiche prepared in order to make known the said village and its region and the cattle ranch villages and other things that there are in the surroundings, and that is the order that they have to make them known. The realization that these two documents were a pair is what allowed the activities taking place in the map to be deciphered. At the time of the creation of this map, the elders of the indigenous community of Tecualtiche explained that the name of the village meant the house of prayer of the devil or God in the language of the Kashkin people, who had founded the area of Teocaltiche before the Spaniards arrived. They stated that the area was taken over by the conquistadors in 1530, and the Spanish village of Tecualtiche was founded there by Nuño de Guzmán. Before this, the village belonged to a man named Aquano, which from the Kashkin language translates to Captain Major of the Wars. Aquano made the decisions about going to war and taking over others' lands. In the image, Aquano is shown seated at the top of a hill, and he is much larger than the other figures, which indicates his importance as a person of authority. To his sides are his two sons. One was named Yekotl, meaning burner. Yekotl was baptized and given the additional Spanish name Martin and went on to become governor. His two sons, Baltasar and Pedro, were alive at the time of the Relaciones Geográficas and contributed to the responses for the questionnaire. They reported that they fought wars against indigenous people of nearby villages for which they used bows, arrows, and clubs to defend themselves. In the lower left can be seen indigenous people fighting against Spaniards who are mounted on horses and are firing cannons. This battle took place between 1540 and 1542 and is known as the Mishton War. Battles also took place between warriors from different groups of indigenous villages. In the top portion, images of human sacrifices are depicted, yet the responses to the questionnaire do not provide any details about this. 
The map also depicts land formations such as trees, rivers, and caves. It is due to the responses to the questionnaires that historians have been able to obtain a better understanding of these images. Maps such as this are very different from the traditional Western style maps we might be accustomed to. Viewing non-Western maps like this one helps broaden our perception of what maps can look like and how they can be used. These artworks are certainly a reflection of their creators. We hope you enjoyed this brief history lesson about some of the encounters between two distinct cultures. To learn more about our collection, visit hispanicsociety.org. And thank you for watching. Thank you.